yeah, I did change, and I'm really glad I changed. This one's wife. When Harry met Chuck, what happened? Hello, I'm H.G. Tudor. Much has been made of Prince Harry's dash across the ocean to see his father, King Charles, following news that King Charles has been diagnosed with cancer. It was an immediate response from Prince Harry, causing him to apparently obtain a commercial flight and race across the Atlantic to attend upon the King at Clarence House. He only received a short meeting, and various commentators have read their own interpretations into what this means vis-a-vis -vis the relationship between the Crown and the Sussexes, the failure of their being any meeting between Harry and William, and the fact that the king then went off to Sandringham and Harry swiftly departed back over the ocean again. Across social media, various people have uttered their own thoughts as to what went on in this meeting, what might have been said, whether it was cordial, whether it was icy, how Camilla's reaction was to Earl Ginger Bollocks as a consequence of the disclosures that he made about her in spare. Was it a difficult meeting after what has been said and the lack of communication that has gone on in the past, or did it commence the building of bridges? Undoubtedly, you have your own thoughts as to what has been said and where this will lead to, and I'd welcome your observations in the comments section. But I'm also pleased to reveal to you that as a consequence of the reach of the Ultra, a certain tape recording of events fell into my lap, uh, demonstrating what actually occurred when Harry turned up at Clarence House. The recording has been made available to me through certain channels that I have access to, and I'm now exclusively going to allow you access. Accordingly, settle back, ensure the volume is at the appropriate level, that your headphones are on, the distractions are removed, that the dog has a bone, the cat has a fish, that your partner is snoozing quietly. And now I will tell you what precisely happened when Harry met Chuck. Oh, hello, chaps. Just here to see Pa. Brought him some Werther's originals. Thought he'd like them. Ah, uh, I say, is um Will's in there? Got a new necklace, you know. Megs wouldn't be happy if that got broke. If you just wait a moment, your gingerness. Oh, uh, your gingerness? I say, that's darned impertinent. New protocol. King's orders, your simpness. Hey, I'm not simple. I got a D in art. Whoa, what are you doing? Just protecting his majesty. We don't want private matters being aired, do we? Uh, well, uh, I say, hang on. Uh, Megsy says, oh, ah, ah, oh, ah. Do we? Or do I have to squeeze these pink pods some more? No, no, I'll comply. Ah. What do we have here, then? A microphone, an earpiece, and a recording device, you little shit. Harry, what are you doing? Ask about the check for ten million. Look, sorry, Harry's a bit busy right now. Right, he's clean. In you go and behave yourself, you wee knacker, or I'll be in there to kick your ass inside out. Oh, yeah, sure. Cool beans, man. <coughs> Harold, traitor of Sussex, dimwit of Dumbarton, cuckold and quarterwit, your majesty. <coughs> uh, yes, what do you want? Oh, uh, hi, Pops. Hi, Camilla. Great crown, yeah? Suits you. Really like it, yeah. 
Watch him, Chuck. He's trying to think, you know. Well, speak up, boy. Why are you here, you cumberworld? Oh, heard you weren't feeling too good, Pops. Ah, uh, so thought it best to come and see how you're keeping, yeah? Megsy says hi. Sorry she's not here. She has some silver fox to look after. She's so kind with the animals, you know. We got another chicken. Balls to your chicken, you scabby little dalcop. Ugh. You've been nothing but a festering turd since you pissed off to the colonies. And then, when you've heard I've got the big C, you come running back, no doubt, to try and finish me off. Hump my missus as well, you randy bedswerver. And steal some jewels, you fustelarian. Well, I have you in my eye. I missed an episode of Cash in the Attic to see you, you jumped up Nashgab. Uh, but, but, Pa, no, nothing of the sort. Oh, uh, I wanted to give you some my best wishes. Man. Best wishes? You wish me dead, you ungrateful Fantapew Bobbeline. She sent you here, hasn't she, you petulant gobbermouch? A pair of Quizbies. That's what you and her are. And if you think I'm dipping into my child and co little prince saver fund to keep you and that harried and afloat, well, I'm not. You are just Reuterbanks. Oh, but Pa, please, if I go back empty-handed, I'll get pink pancaked and sent to the chicken coop. <laughs> you randy scobolotcher. It's time you rolled up your sleeves and did some proper work, and not cadge off me. But Pa, I'm hopeless, and I'm useless without the firm. Ugh, first sensible thing you've said in years, boy. But the answer's still no. Fuck off. You've had your chance. Pa, Pa, I beseech you. Beseech? What do you think this is? The crown? Isn't it? No, you errant sauna. Now get out. Countdown is on shortly, and hopefully Rachel Riley will be showing off her consonants. Oh, Charles, you naughty boy. <laughs> See him out, Carruthers. Back entrance. No doubt back grid awaiting out front. Oh, okay. Thanks, Pa. Been fun. See you later, Camilla. Looking forward to next time. <coughs> is William waiting out back? Yes, he is. Time to give Ginge a good larping. And as for that necklace, duh. There you have it. What actually went on between King Charles, Queen Camilla and Prince Harry when he recently attended Clarence House. You are now in the know.